Pretty good. Um, efforts all efforts have been very uh, very good as expected with a, a group that was that's expected to uh, to kind of know things coming into camp. Um, close to a veteran group. There's they're still young guys, but they we do have some guys that got some time last year. So um, very pretty good so far. Most of the things that 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 Ray was great at are things that are his natural view of the field. The way he has his vision of the field was second to none. Um, so I think that's one thing that's really big. Trying to mo trying to not make guys so robotic um, was a good thing that Ray did. Was he was smooth in everything he did, and whether or not something was right, he ran to the right spot on the field and he found open grass. And that's a lot of what our offense is about. So that's a uh, I guess that's probably the, the biggest aspect. I I really enjoy Austin because first of all he's a leader on this team, um, and he's a leader in the wide receiver room. And the effort, just like I said earlier, the effort is always there with that kid. And he expects effort from the other guys as well. That's where his leadership takes over. He expects it from the other guys, and the other guys look up to Austin. The way he does things, the way he carries himself, the way he carries himself on and off the field are, uh, is great. Um, I, I've learned a lot about the offense from Austin, just speaking to Austin, you know, because I'm fairly new. Um, and, you know, he'll go over with me coming off the field. That's the great thing about him and the rest of our receivers is they're very vocal in things that they see. The best receivers always are. They're vocal with the quarterback. They're vocal with the coaches on what they see. So they'll tell me something on the field that they see, especially Austin. We'll go to the film, film room, and there it is. I mean, he saw it, and that's what it is. And then we'll go through about what to do if we're in that situation again. So Austin, uh, it's, it's good to have him in the position that he's in right now, being 100%, and he's a great – he's a fun guy to coach. It's, it's – um, you know, very beneficial. We, we have the advantage of guys guys that, that have been in the position before and played in big games. You, the experience is, is when you once you have the experience, it's it's great for an offense because those guys play in big games. They play in games where they're expected to win. They're playing in games where they know they have to play very well to win. Um, you know, so that's awesome. Those guys have made those big plays in those big games to where, you know, it, it may not be so much going into it the next time. This year they'll play in big games. Every week we'll play in a big game. Those guys getting experience last year, helps so much and the way that they work every day it seems like they're playing in the big game every day that's how they come to work every day so I'm really excited you know uh, we got a bunch of young guys coming in especially at the wide receiver position but they're talented uh, I'm ready to go I'm ready to, you know I'm ready to play I didn't get to finish the season last year so ready to go healthy yep um, uh, back to 100% so uh, you know uh, did everything I could was patient waited my time and I'm back to 100% well, you know, uh, the last few years we've we've you know done a little bit better, a little bit better, and then you know last year we got into the playoffs, you know, and uh, we say it all the time, brick by brick, we're not done. Well, you know, last year that was just building one more brick on that house, and we we, we want to keep building towards that MIAA championship and national championship. Brent's doing real well, uh, you know, he and he's fully recovered too, um, and uh, the O line's been doing a good job protecting him, um, and you know he's gotten better since last season. That's another thing to get excited about. Brent Wilson's even better than last year, so um, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to see him play too. Yeah, time on the field is uh, one of those things that it it, it kind of trumps other things like skill and all that because when you step on that field with some of those guys, you know, the more uh, the more time you spend out there, uh, just the more comfortable you are. So um, I think them getting some, you know some of that playing time last year and and stepping into their role, uh, you know, when I got hurt. And, uh, guys filling in for guys that that's gonna help us this season. It's awesome. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's awesome. Brent can yeah, he's 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 just a good football player. He can run the ball, pass the ball. Uh, he he opens up a lot of stuff for us. So he he's exciting to watch. You know, and I I could run straight ahead even when I was hurt. Uh, cutting was kind of what bothered me, but um, you know that that knowing that I could do that and I was injured I knew when I came back and I was full speed again it did kind of give me a little bit more confidence to know that I could do that because now that I'm 100% I, everything feels fine. Throughout the summer we went really hard on like like sprints running I feel like I got a lot faster a lot stronger and just a lot better in different ways just knowing the offense and knowing how it goes together and how things are supposed to work out and me and Brent our chemistry just seems like it's gotten a lot better so I feel like I'm good in that aspect. I feel like uh the experience that we got last season is really gonna help us because we can show the young freshmen just how to grow up and just just handle adversity whenever you gotta do it. And then basically when you when you have to make clutch moments, Ray Ray showed us that it just stay calm and just relax and just play natural and just do your thing. Brent he really knows that I like to come out my routes real strong and real hard and he likes to throw it exactly how I want it. So I feel like 
over the summer, all the extra seven on seven, all the one on ones, and all that extra stuff we did is just paying off. And is making it hard on our DBs with their no fly zone and stuff. Oh, my route running, definitely. I mean, I've improved a lot on that over the summer. I've gotten a lot better getting out of my breaks, you know. Got my legs a lot stronger. You know, I got in the weight room. I got a lot stronger there. And, uh, you know, with Austin and Kowalski, you know, helping me out, you know, I mean, they're actually really great route runners. So I feel like that's my strongest point. Uh, what I learned from Ray Ray is, you know, just if you want to be a big time player, you got to make big time plays. And I mean, he taught me to, you know, overcome adversity and everything. And I mean, like everyone says, you know, you can't replace Ray Ray. He was a great player for us. But my job is to, you know, to play my role and take care of business. I mean, when I'm on the field, take care of my, uh, you know, my opportunities. So that's all I can do and make plays when I'm asked upon. Uh, yeah, it's, I would have to say it's a great thing. You know, I mean, Kowalski, Austin and I, you know, we all are on the field at the same time in some sets. So it really takes the pressure off. I mean, Austin might get double teamed, but you know, Brent can rely on Kowalski and I. So if Kowalski gets double teamed, you know, one of us is going to be open. It's just, and then we have our slots, you know, our H backs and Drake and them, you know, to take the pressure off of us. So, I mean, we have a lot of weapons. <laughs> you know, that's a tough one. I don't, I don't know how he does it sometimes, but he puts the ball where only you can catch it. So it, you know, it's it's an easy thing to do. I mean, he makes our job easier. I'll say that. I mean, so we don't ever have to overcompensate on how we need to catch the ball or something like that. It's just always right there. So he makes our job really easy.